Welcome back to a very special race hub. It is the Better Half Dash iRacing event, and it's time to see which driver put in the time and wants it more than the rest. The ladies have taken over the show today, and that includes, of course, the one calling the race. It's time to send it to our girl, Jamie Little. Jamie, it is time to get this baby started. Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway. This is the Legends course. The better half dash. The pace car is off and leading the way in the number 38, orange, black, and yellow. That is Kelly Earnhardt Miller. Yes. Tammy Rice in the number 11. They raised the most money, so they got the front row. The rest of them had to qualify through heat races. Daniel Suarez watching Julia Piquet. Chase Briscoe and his beautiful pregnant wife, Marissa. We've got laughs already. That's Jenna Petty and Harrison Burton and Megan Smith. And you see Kristen Labonte there, and it's because of her that this event is back. We haven't seen the Better Half Dash since 2017, so thanks to her for pushing to make this a reality, helping to raise a ton of money for MRO, Motor Racing Outreach. Pace car is off, green flag is in the air, and it's Kelly Earnhardt Miller leading the field to green. Some tire smoke right off the bat. The 21 and McCall Galding so fast, and we've got to pile up the 20. Morgan Bellis spins around. Let's take a look back exactly what happened. A little bit of help from Kennedy Galding, the younger sister of McCall. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Christopher Bell laughing because he's not driving the race car. Morgan means business. She says, what the heck? I didn't show up for this thing just to be wrecked on the first lap. Christopher. Uh, we had a first lap crash getting into turn one. That was probably to be expected, but we're all good now. So you're saying you had no faith, Christopher. To be expected on lap number one. And the 14 to the inside of that cookie car. Marissa Briscoe tries to make it stick, but she can't. The 15 of Carissa Flores just hangs on. So then, yeah, she's going to have to deal with that. There's McCall Galding, Zane Smith, her boyfriend. Of course, you see him in the Camping World Truck Series. They're all business over there. It must be so difficult for these husbands, boyfriends, to be quiet during this time. Let the women focus. This is right here in our Race Hub studios. Check in with our own Bobby Labonte. All right. We got Kristen Labonte. She's in fourth. Um, she told me everything's going great. I told her, baby, eight tires, four tires are better than, uh, eight tires are better than four. Uh, shake and bake. Oh, wait a minute. We need some lip gloss to go with this. Doing great. Doing great. Uh, she is 100% business right now, Bobby. You just take that lip gloss and uh, sit there. Look at the cookie. Almost got run over. Let's check in with Harrison Burton. Well, we uh, we got through the carnage on lap one, which was a big part of this. We're running down who's in second, so uh, I think Kelly's in second. Jenna's running some fast laps right now, so feeling pretty good. I get tensed up whenever she's around people because I feel like I want to start driving, but I can't, so she's doing a good job. Oh, we all know that race car drivers are control freaks, right? So you watch him just, oh, like to the inside. He can't control it. But Jenna Petty, she's doing a great job right now in third in the 12. And there's a battle. The 38 of Kelly Earnhardt Miller stacking him up a little bit. Jennifer Self right here. Yep. Austin Wayne Self, her husband. All right. She won this event back in 2017. She knows what she's doing. Kennedy Galding. Look at Kristen. Master cycling champion, a true athlete, keeps her husband in great shape. She's in fifth right now. This battle here between Petty 
And PK in the 99, she's coming on strong. Julia PK in the 99 is getting faster every lap. Let's check in with Regan Smith. Well, things aren't going so good right now here, Jamie. Uh, I, you know what? It's uh, somebody has to finish last in every race. Um, we wanted to make sure everybody else felt good about their experience with the MRO Better Half Dash, Motor Racing Outreach Better Half Dash. So. So we're just, we're being kind to everyone. Oh, we just wrecked, oh, you wrecked Morgan Bell. Sorry, Morgan. Morgan is gonna, she, she's bigger than you. She's coming for you. Get to the top, Megan, oh, get sorry, to the top. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Get to well, the don't top. don't stop when you don't. There you go. Oh, my goodness. A little sideways, pretty clean race to this point. Oh, there she is, Carissa Flores. Doing a nice job. Julia PK all over Kelly Earnhardt Miller trying to find her weakness and she makes her make a mistake. The 99 goes by into second. Kelly Earnhardt Miller to third now. Let's check in with them. Zane Smith looks like he's driving his truck. Serious face. He wants McCall to take home this win. A lot on the line. All for a great cause, $10,000 to the winner of this Better Half Dash. The 12 of Jenna Petty. Oh, no, they're stacking up. We got more cars involved, including our leader. Oh, there you go. Tammy Rice avoids it, and they're still wrecking. Oh, no, what happened? Oh, you're good. There's all kinds of stuff. The 15 of Carissa Flores. Did you see that? We got a caution! Right. Yes! Why did we get a caution? Caution's out. The caution oh. came out. Oh, I went low. <laughs> we are spinning some people. <laughs> Harrison, are you insinuating you guys started this? Let's take a look back at the replay. There it is, Jenna Petty in the 12 with Harrison Burton spins. Kristen Labani. Alexa De Leon had nowhere to go, and our leader right there, if this was real life, she would probably be done. But this is eye racing. She spins to the right. Excuse me, coming through. I got a race to finish. Let's see if the 21 can finish this race out. And then look, look at the 15, the cookie car. You just got tired of turning left, so she turns right. Come on, Carissa. Join us, only three laps to go. That's my goal at this point, is to not finish last. Alexa, she has a whole stack, a room full of trophies from her boyfriend, and the green flag is out. McCall Golding with a huge jump. Oh no, they're stacking up already. What happened here? Jennifer Self and Kelly Earnhardt Miller get together. Here it is again. Riding on board with our leader, Kelly Earnhardt gets tapped. Nope, she's not taking that. She turns left right into Jennifer Self. Three wide here. They go around. Oh, I don't think she intended for that to happen. McCall Golding continues to lead, but she's got company. The 99 of Julia PK coming on strong. Final lap. Look at the focus, the intensity. Julia on the bottom with Daniel Suarez. You see his shoulder there. And McCall Golding side by side. They go into turn three. Julia locks it up. Checkered flag is in the air. McCall gets it done. Woo! She's just going to stand on the gas and rip it right through the infield grass. Way to go. Uh, congratulations, McCall. I know you were putting in a lot of prep work for this, but this is awesome. You got the big victory. Congrats. I did. Thank you. <laughs> Zane, what did you think? I mean, honestly, this is a proud moment for you, isn't it? You need to be wearing the trophy uh, boyfriend t-shirt. Yeah, grab that trophy. <laughs> Show <laughs> us that trophy. Come on. Yeah. Show Whoa. up the hardware it's right so there. Big. Yeah, it's on the side. <laughs> I know, it's like my size, so. Uh, yeah, I was uh, uh, super impressed, really. She's one of those people that's really good at, at whatever she does, so I'm really not too shocked. Um, <laughs> Yeah, she she put in all her work and it paid off.
really good at what everything she tries she means yeah. very competitive. That, oh, that's yeah. what I hear when he says that. Very, she's shaking her head. Uh, <laughs> I want to know, McCall, like, how did you prepare for this? Because a little birdie told us you actually have a chiropractor appointment today <laughs> because you've been in the rig so much. So how many hours? Walk us through what your preparation was like. Yeah, so when I asked MRO to be in the Better Half Eye Racing Dash, I actually begged Zane to call somebody. I was like, I want to do this. I spent three nights out of the week watching him uh, train with Josh Wise and the Chevy people on the sim, and I'm like, I want to do that so bad. So once they told me that I was able to join and be in the Better Half Eye Racing Dash, I spent hours, literally. Zane had to pull me off of this thing every night literally so now i'm paying the consequences uh for lower back pain but hey it all paid off that's it because you got the trophy for sure mccall the word is you were fast all weekend long practice every time you went out there you were bad fast a lot of resources to pull from you've got zane you've got your brother gray did you go to either one of them for a little advice or did you just say hey guys i got this at first I was like, Zane, you need to lay down a lap for me. I need to, you know, follow your ghost car. And But <laughs> I actually beat his time every time. So he, he was learning from me. Pretty much. He's like, teach me. I'm like, there's nothing I teach you. You're faster than me. Yeah, I'm like, Zane, you're not a good crew chief. You're not giving me any pointers. And he's like, I don't know what to tell you. You're doing better than, like, I thought and better than me. So <laughs> yeah. yeah I Team owners. Better. Team owners currently getting ready to pick up the phone and yeah. call you. So I want to know, playing off that question, McCall, when you're sitting at uh, the family dinner this these holiday season, who are you going to rub it in like their face the most? Is it is it Zane? Is it your sister or is it your brother? <laughs> Honestly, probably Zane. Like I was like, I feel so bad for my sister. She got I think uh, caught up in something um, lap two, and so I was driving and I was like. No, is that my sister? And so it was like, focus. I totally like blew the corner. But um, yeah, so love my little sister, but definitely Gray or Zane for sure. Listen to you saying blew the corner. You're a regular old race car driver now. You're using all the verbiage and everything. So obviously this whole point of this event is for a good cause, giving money to charity. You chose Lake Norman Humane. Why was that cause important to you? I love all animals and they're right down the street from our house. So um, supporting a local animal shelter um, and rescue was something that I really enjoyed. And so I reached out to them and said, listen, here's the deal. Um, so if you randomly get 10 grand in the mail, this is why. So um, I, they actually reached back out and was like, yes, like you Zane, come, come to our place and learn a little bit more about us. And so we did that and it was so much fun fun and so it made it that much uh more special to win for them uh knowing that i got to go or we got to go learn um more about like norman humane well uh, what a great cause mccall so you're not going to drop the mic is the bug <laughs> bit you we well, don't want to have to wait a year to see you in the next better half racing series do, are, are you going to come back and do some more eye racing <laughs> hey i i want to that's up to my crew chief uh what he um yeah. what he's I need to start making some more money so I can just put it over <laughs> Well, I love the fact that the trophy is right there. Maybe yes. get whatever you are wearing, Hank, next to his fire suit um, in that room because yeah. now it's a it's a McCall and a Zane yes. trophy room at, at the house. You guys, thank you so much. Congratulations, McCall. Awesome job driving. Way to represent for the women. Thank you so much. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.